In our last video, we established the importance of presenting your gunpla in the best poses to bring them to life and make them aesthetically therapeutic for you and the people who will look at your collection. In this video, we will talk about some tips that you may use if you want to improve your skills in gunpla posing. So without further ado, here are three tips I can give you on how to improve your gunpla posing. Number one, learn the basic principles of dynamic posing. The first goal of proper dynamic posing for your gunpla or figure is to not look awkward when pulling off a pose. One basic principle of dynamic posing is contrapposto. Contra means opposite, posto means position. In applying contrapposto, you have to take note of your gunpla or figure's limbs. If that right arm is positioned forward, the left leg should be positioned forward. And no, I, I didn't mean this, but at least it should look like this. Normally, the opposite hip is forward and the knee is flexed. Number two, start copying poses. For me, this is the easiest one to begin with if you're trying to look for inspiration. I mean, it's okay to copy, right? Right? The high grade and master grade boxes have some cool reference poses that you can copy and practice your posing skills with. The real grade boxes, well, just don't use the front box art if you want to practice pulling off dynamic poses. Now, if you want to look for more inspiration, you can go to these places. First is of course my TikTok account. I have a number of posing tutorials and of course I am planning to post more posing inspirations for you guys. Second would be the Instagram accounts of these awesome folks. G Talier, Action Man 32, Team Gundam, Burning Red 28, Nirvana Plastic Sniffer, Gumpla Vibe, and Rotary Red. Well, I'm sure there are a lot more, but for now, these are the only accounts that I follow. Last but not the least, Pinterest. I also go to Pinterest whenever I need more inspiration for posing. Not only that, I also get inspiration from my custom painting and kit bash projects from Pinterest. So yeah, Pinterest is your friend. Finally, ask for feedback. The first two tips are important but they might not work if you don't ask for feedback. Feedback is absolutely important if you want to be more self-aware about your craft. There are things, details, and flaws that you won't see unless you ask other people about your gunpla or your action figure's pose. When you ask for feedback, always be open and don't take things negatively. I mean, sure, there are a lot of jerks who don't know how to properly give constructive feedback, but still, feedback is feedback. Feedback is the breakfast of champions. But before I end this video, I just want to clarify that this is not by any means gatekeeping. If you don't want to properly pose your gunpla, or you just want your gunpla to be posed whatever you like because gunpla is freedom, yes? Ugh, cringe. Then you go ahead, it's your gunpla anyway. But I'm creating these videos to promote the art of gunpla posing. Also, I would like to announce that we will be having another Gunpla posing contest before this month ends. Yep, you heard that right. A Gunpla posing contest. Please see the details and the mechanics of the contest by clicking the link on the screen and on the description below. We will be awarding the winners via live stream on October 29, 2022. And, uh... I'm sorry, this is exclusive for the Philippines. Uh, yeah. Anyway, good luck on your entries and see you in the next video. Bye!